How's it going everybody? Nerd Rock here and welcome to my new series Minecraft on the Rune Glade server. So I've been invited to join this YouTuber's server called Rune Glade. Uh, and there was a there was a contest for it held by Harame. She leads the server. And uh, she's a she's a YouTuber I've watched for a few years. And uh, she had a contest and I entered and uh, I guess at first I didn't I didn't get in, but then I guess they had room. So uh, here I am. And I'm pretty excited, and the uh, server looks really cool, and people are building stuff, and uh, I'm excited to get get on my feet so I can start like moving in in this area over here. But uh, right now, I got absolutely nothing, and I'm starving. So, as much as I'd like to tour all of the spawn area, I wanna I wanna get away so I can at least get a little bit of a little bit of a start here, make a little hidey hole. Hopefully, not starve to death. <laughs> oh, this is cool. There's this like a amusement park of sorts. It's pretty cool. So yeah, I don't really have any game plan with what I'm going to do with the base here. Um, I don't think I want to do another sky base, though. I'm thinking maybe I will just do an underground base. I want to do like a nice house and spawn. Uh, but as far as my actual separate base, I don't know. I guess I'm going to look around for a little while. Unfortunately, I don't really know where anybody's stuff is, uh, so I'm not going to kill any of the animals close by. Uh, I don't know where anybody's like main builds are, so I don't, don't want to get too close and get in someone's way. So we'll just kind of explore for a little while, maybe, and live off the land. I don't want to. I don't. <laughs> you know my thing in killing all the animals. I want to have. I want to leave them with some animals walking around because it looks cool. I think that horse almost killed himself over there. Did you guys see that? But once, once we're far enough, I might have to kill something, because I don't want to starve to death, like... I don't know. Oh, great. We can, we can grab some mushrooms. That'll work just fine. So, yeah, I don't know really what I want to do. Uh, it's been a really long time since I've done multiplayer, and uh, I don't really know any of the guys on this server too well. Uh, so, I don't know yet. really don't know what I want to do with... What, what, uh, what stuff we may need as a community here. So I'm just going to kind of take it slow and see uh, what, what fits right and go from there. But uh, I definitely want to do some sort of shop or like... Yeah, I don't know. I'll figure out something that's needed there and I'll set up some sort of, some sort of little business. <laughs> you can bring back Nerd Co. or Nerd's Beverage Company if you guys remember back from my Feed the Beast series. <laughs> oh, I missed that base. That base was cool. Alright, I got some some red mushrooms. Can we find some brown mushrooms? Awesome. And then I could just grab some wood, make a bowl, and we'll be set food-wise for a little while. Hope nobody minds me chopping down these mushrooms, but I can always replant them. So let's see, what's been going on? The new... New uh, Apple products got announced today, uh, so let's just talk about that for a little while. Let me give you a little background on my relationship with Apple. So, I've been an Apple supporter since, um, like, since before the iMac existed, just to give you an idea of how long I've been a big Apple fan. Like, uh, we had a 2GS before we ever had a Windows machine or even a Mac machine. We had an Apple 2GS in my house, uh, and man, that thing... I'll be damned if that thing wasn't the best, one of the best computers I've ever had. Like, the thing just worked so well. Uh, so that was the beginning of my love for Apple products. And unfortunately, it's kind of weaned over the years. And uh, I hate to blame it strictly on this, but ever since Steve Jobs passed, um, it's just been a different company, you know? Like, and literally, it's, it's, it's a company. That's basically what it is. <laughs> it used to be like, you know... Jobs always came across, and I'm pretty sure this is the case, uh, that he wanted to change the world. It wasn't about it wasn't about making money for him. You know, he just knew if he did the right thing, the money would just follow. And that was always the, the feeling I got from him. And his actions kind of reflected that, you know. And into, I remember back when USB ports were just not being used at all. Like, you just, computers just didn't have them. Um, or if they did have them... Uh, they weren't used just at all, you know, uh, and then I remember the iMac got released, no floppy drive, uh oh, uh oh, yeah, got no floppy drive, no, uh, 
I'm sorry, no, it had no floppy drive. So at the time, that was a big deal. If you guys, any of you guys listening are too young to know, before CDs were like rewritable on computers. Oh! Well, that scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> Let's repair this. <laughs> oh man, did that scare me. What's hurting me? All right. Let's, uh, let me get some safety here. I'm probably going to die right now. Okay. <laughs> All righty. One second, guys. Actually, you know what? I'm going to wait for morning, and I will be back with you guys. All right. Well, I, I got bored staying underground, and I wanted to come up here and repair the little creeper damage. So uh, that's fixed, and I think I'm going to try to find a cave. Ooh, stay away from me, creeper. You are not my friend. Perfect. This is perfect. Let me light this up, and then we'll have a nice mining experience. Oh, this is an awesome cave. Wow. You know, my single-player world, I just cannot at all find a cave like this for whatever reason. So let's talk about that for a minute as, as, as to the future of that series. So that series is actually going to go on hold for a little while. Um, I really like that world a lot, so I'm going to hold on to it. But for now, I really don't have room in my on my channel for more Minecraft. You know, if you guys notice, it gets the least amount of views of all my content. And at this point, I'm really only doing it because I enjoy it myself, you know? Uh, but I don't really feel the need to push myself to do more than the one series. So Nerd Rock's world will just kind of become Minecraft in Runeglade. And I'm sure it's going to be much better. Uh, because Minecraft is a social game, in my opinion. So... I am at my in my element now. I like multiplayer Minecraft. That's how I started playing, and it's how I prefer. And I'm really excited to be on here with some cool people, as far as I can tell. <laughs> Everyone's been very nice to me so far. So yeah, I don't I don't know if I want to play super technical like I usually do. In fact, I think I want to stray away from that. I think. I almost get caught up in the technical Minecraft a bit too much, so I think we're going to go a little bit more organic this time, like... I'm going to mine for just about everything, at least at first, uh, for a little while. It's going to mine everything and not necessarily use too many grinders. I don't know why I always make rules for myself and then I end up breaking them, but... It sounds fun right now, so for now I think that's what I'm going to do. And I want to I wanna actually try to build some nice looking stuff, because... When I play this game, I like to improve. Uh, and though 3D building of little houses may not be a particularly useful skill in life, if I'm going to be doing it, I may as well be getting better at it, right? So that's that's my point of view. Uh, I had my buddy Capern. You guys should know Capern, most of you. Um, he's a great, great builder in Minecraft. And I had him design me up a simple little house. And I think he, he went about as simple as he possibly could. Uh, and I'm still a little scared. <laughs> Because I have just, I'm going to have to take like a bunch of screenshots and really just do it one block at a time. Because I just, I am not skilled in that for whatever reason. <laughs> um, but yeah, hopefully we'll we'll get some nice looking builds and we'll have some really fun times on the server. I'm really looking forward to meeting everybody. Uh, I'm looking forward to the interactions, I think, with everybody more than, more than anything else, really. So that's going to be really cool. I hear zombies all over the place. So, got 31 iron... I really should smelt that up right now, so perhaps I shall do just that. <laughs> okay, uh, I don't need to worry about making the armor right now, so maybe we'll just explore for a bit. This is a really cool seed, because you got the dark forest right there. You got some sunflowers. I'm going to grab one of these. Uh, you got sunflowers. Not always the easiest thing to find. There's a swamp right over here. I wonder if there's a uh, a witch farm. From the videos I've seen on uh, Harame's channel, I'm pretty sure... Some of the guys on here are pretty technical with the way they play, so I wouldn't be surprised if there is a witch farm or something like it. It is a great seed. Lots of wide open space, so it shouldn't be too hard to find a permanent spot. I'm kind of a little worried about just picking a spot and settling down before talking to anybody, because... I don't know. Stepping on people's toes is really not my style, so I don't want to do anything out of form or anything, so... Yeah, we'll talk to everybody, make make sure... I don't know, we don't have any rules about where I should or shouldn't be going. I'm not one to, uh... 
raise a fuss, if you will. <laughs> I'm thinking I may want to end up settling in a desert again. If you guys remember my old vanilla world, it was in a desert, and I still miss that world, but, uh, yeah, that's from a different time period of my life, so I don't really, I don't really go back there anymore. Hey, buddy. I also don't think I want to have a rabbit farm. You know, on my single-player world, I don't mind, I don't mind harvesting all my other animal farms, but for some reason, the rabbits, they're just, they're just so dang adorable. I just don't want to... I don't want to harm them. Hopefully I can find another rabbit and name it Nibbler again. That'd be great. So, I think I was talking about USB. Yeah, USB was not used very often. And if you wanted to store data, you had to store it on a floppy disk drive back then, and they just didn't include it. And I, I remember when it happened, people were like, oh, no one's going to buy that. There's not even a floppy drive on it. What are they, what are they nuts? And lo and behold... <laughs> that was kind of the beginning of Apple just slowly taking everything over. That when I was when I was an Apple fan, like when I was a kid, when I was a youth, a youth, um, <laughs> they they got a lot of flack, and people were like, "Oh, they're gonna go out of business. Why don't you get a real computer?" Um, stuff like that you'd hear a lot about Apple. Uh, not not a well liked or well received brand at the time at all. Uh, but they always made these choices that were like, ah, oh, why, why are you doing that? And then years later, it would be the standard, just always. And uh, that's kind of disappeared from the company over the past few years, or a little more than a few years, but it's just, they just don't do that anymore. They used to be, you know, they used to really drive change. I mean, that, that, that used to be their whole, their whole slogan was think different. That was the Apple thing. And uh, I think when it comes to phones, I still really like the products they put out when it comes to mobile. And I think... I, was, I had this thought the other day, and I'm, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and pretend to be an expert, so I could be totally wrong. But I had this thought the other day that maybe they kind of see down the line what's going to be. You know, like, um, there are phones right now that are like 2.3 gigahertz. I mean, that's as fast as desktop machines were just a, a year or two ago, right? I mean, my, I have a MacBook Air, not my main computer. My main computer is a PC, a Windows machine. But uh, I have a MacBook Air, and that thing's got like a 2 gigahertz chip on it. I only bought it like two, three years ago. So I don't know. Maybe maybe they think that these old desktop machines are just not going to be around much longer. That is a scary down there. <laughs> but yeah, sad to see. Oh, this all started me talking about their uh, <laughs> their products that they released. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Nope. Yeah, that's right. Got my face creeps. I need to get some armor on. So let me let me kill this guy first. Haha. -ha. <laughs> oh, awesome. All right. That was probably not the most smart thing to do in the world. There we go. You grab that. Let's not put anything to waste. <laughs> All right. Oh man, just enough. Wow. I need to get to the surface, probably, and get some more wood soon. Uh, but let's go ahead and, and smelt some of this down. I am the worst ever, and this entire time I've been talking about Apple, and I still didn't talk about the products they released. So, they announced today an iMac for $2,500. And this is kind of, I'm kind of, I've kind of had it with them in their desktop machines. No! Oh, wait, I still have this. Uh, I've kind of had it with them in their desktop machines, because $2,500... Like, it's a 5K screen, right? It's got the retina display, yeah, la di da um, I don't buy any of that nonsense, the retina display thing. It's nonsense. Uh, you, you shouldn't buy into it either. It really is nonsense. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, 5K screen. Uh, it comes with some Radeon video card. I think it's one of the really high-end ones. But really, it's for $2,500, like, for $2,500, you should be getting a 4.5 overclocked uh, processor, you know, with, like, a custom... All right, so like one of the, one of my favorite computer companies uh, for Windows is Falcon Northwest. So you can get a Falcon Northwest for twenty five hundred dollars with like the works, guys. Like we're talking about a custom case, like overclocked processor, solid state drives, like you know almost everything that you could ever need basically in a computer uh, for twenty five hundred. And I just how you can sell an iMac for that price? Like yeah, I get it, the screen's built in, but like really, like. I don't know. So, yeah, I was pretty disappointed in that. And my father, who's been an avid Mac fan for as long as I am, if not longer, I mean, he's really, really dedicated to them. Uh, 
he's like part of a Mac club and he's like part of the charity committee there. And uh, he was very upset when this came out. And I feel bad because, you know, he, here's a guy that's just loved Apple for like the longest time and they don't sell a product for him. You know, they sell, they sell this Mac mini that you can't even open up anymore and change. So like, it's basically a disposable computer. And they sell the iMac, which is an all-in-one. And then they sell the Mac Pro, which is a ridiculous waste of money uh, that maybe a percentage of a percentage of people could ever use. The power that's in that thing. And it's like, it's just, no, just here's a computer with an Apple on it that runs Mac OS. Just a regular computer. So, I don't know. Apple needs to get, you know, a little back to their roots, I think. How about like a regular computer for us, for us normal folk who aren't millionaires and also don't want a disposable computer? You know, that'd be nice. <laughs> All right, let's get to the surface. Luckily, this, this wooden pick came through for us. Oh, is it a black bunny? Oh, I wish I had a slime ball. I can make a leash and grab him. This, I want Nibbler. Like, I, want, I want to be able to have Nibbler from my old world. If I could just name him Nibbler. <laughs> Definitely need to have a pet bunny again, for sure. So let's... I feel like I'm already running a little long on this episode, and I really kind of think I probably should have done the tour first, but... uh. <laughs> That's all right. Let's do a quick tour, see what, what, what's being built around here, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. I want to, kind of want to ride on this. Can I? Let's check it out. Let me get rid of some of this useless stuff. Finest potato on a stick in all the states. <laughs> That's a Minecraft reference. Awesome. Lucky dip, press button. What's that? It was a lapis lazuli. Oh, I see. I don't need to take anything. I'll put that back in. Uh, you must be this high to ride. I make it! <laughs> Alright, let's, let's see. Is there any... Oh, awesome. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, this is great. I've always wanted to build a huge roller coaster in survival. I've only ever done it in creative. Whee! And of course, yet the cactus. Awesome. So cool. Uh, yes, this gets my approval. <laughs> Very awesome. Watch the amazing Alfonso as he juggles nine minecarts with relative ease. I don't know, there's, there's nobody there. <laughs> Alfonso is not very amazing. I am not amazed. Place one redstone torch on top of this redstone. Oh, is that... I can't. Okay. Um... Hog racing. I guess that's like a king of the hill thing. King of the ladder, yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is cool. Big house circus. <laughs> oh, yeah, I should say, I'm going to put a link to all the other uh, YouTubers on the, on the server down below. So, yeah. Definitely check them all out and subscribe or else. No, nah, just, just kidding, but you should. This is really cool. It's like some like ancient ruins or something. Some of this stuff I actually did see in uh, in videos. Like I've seen a few of Feather's videos, so I've seen that before. But I want to show you guys. It looks really cool. I think but that's a that's a free plot. So I have a feeling that's where I may end up. Let's see. What's this? Do do do. I feel like I saw some of this earlier. Uh, Damon and Haru's Manor. Cool. Gigantic. Yeah, I won't be building anything this big. <laughs> uh, I lose patience with, with decorative building very soon, but that is really nice. This is the spawn. Unfortunately, I spawned on top of it. <laughs> Just random chests. Server rules. Oh, uh-oh. Hope I didn't break any. Do not explore excessive chunks. I don't think I did that. On off switch, reduce lag, be nice. Ooh, we can prank! Haha, <laughs> awesome. Ah, yeah, no TNT, no love, of course. Yeah, that's, I think, I think we're all down with those rules, right? Those are pretty, pretty common sense. Be a nice guy, don't be a jerk. <laughs> Although I didn't know that there were pranks, so I'm pretty excited about that. But I only do friendly pranks, you know, like you find out somebody needs a bunch of, uh, I don't know, like for instance, someone wants a bunch of lapis, so you'll, you know, here's some lapis, and you'll cover their whole base in like miles of it. <laughs> I remember when I needed wheat and Reach, uh, MC Reach, oh, I, I miss him, he hasn't been around in a long time, but uh, MC Reach filled my entire base with chests full of bread. He's like, here, here's your wheat, I just repackaged it for you. This is Pygons, I actually just watched the video of him starting this, and this is looking awesome. 
Hopefully he doesn't mind me showing this. I'll ask before I'll upload the video. This looks great, though. Wow. I, I, I feel bad, because I'm going to be uh, unquestionably the worst builder. Uh, like, I, I'm a survivalist. I build, like, neat stuff. Like, like, not neat as in, like, tidy. Neat as in, like, it's, like, cool. You know, I try to build interesting stuff, but it's never... Like, this looks nice. It's got the leaves all over it. Really cool. Villager hostel. Okay, we won't, we won't explore too much. Uh, I think that's... I think this is eventually going to be... Some, someone's videos, they were saying this is going to be a welcome center eventually. I have no idea. Really cool looking, though. And I see that slime, and I've been wanting to check it out for a while. Because slime... The slimes are my favorite mobs in this game. Okay, it's a slime shop. Payment chest, slime chest. One stack of slime balls for two diamonds. Eek. Okay. Uh, if you want to use another currency, just message me. It's okay. It's just slimes and diamonds. We don't got to bring pen and paper into this. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. That's a Mitch Hedberg thing. Uh, well, this is awesome, and I'm really excited, guys. I hope you are, too. Uh, we're going to meet some new friends, and we're going to make some cool stuff. And, yeah, I think this is going to be much better than the old series. But like I said, I'm saving that world, so don't worry. It might be back someday. And, yeah, if you enjoyed the episode, please go ahead and stomp on that like button. Why did I say it that way? Um, yeah, do that. And subscribe and subscribe to all the other people in the description. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.